In this short video, I'll demonstrate how you can further automate open item clearing in SAP, which enables time savings and improved accuracy. The tool to do this is an SAP certified add-on module called BEST. We're going to start with some very quick slides to put you in the picture, and then we'll go into SAP itself to show you how BEST automates open item clearing where standard SAP doesn't. So first, let's have a look at the standard SAP auto clearing transaction. That's it that you see in front of you there, and you can see um, it's, it's selected some items to automatically match and clear against each other. Now, there are certain rules which are limitations, and let me explain them to you. The first is that all the clearing has to be within one company code, one single company code. You cannot clear across company codes with the auto clearing. It has to be within the same account type, so it has to be within GL accounts or within debtor accounts or within vendor accounts, and the exact same account number. So, you know, for my example, that all my clearing matches had to be within that account number, double one three one zero three, and then it has to be within the same field. So, in my example that that we're looking at, all the matches had to be within the assignment field. I couldn't match something uh, in the assignment field against something else in the header text field, for example. And it has to be the exact same reference as they are there, um, which is why they matched. But if one of those was, for example, missing the leading zeros, then we could not get an auto match and an auto clearing within standard SAP. So all of those restrictive rules lead to limited automatic clearing in SAP. Which then means that users need to do manual clearing in SAP. And, and, and with the manual clearing, you can really do anything in SAP, and it's very flexible. So you can do it. The functionality is there. The problem is it takes time. Um, there are lots of screens. I mean, you, you're looking at a screen there, which is a standard SAP manual clearing screen, which has displayed a long list of, 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 of open items that need to be cleared. Um, I had to go through a couple of screens to get there of selections. Um, and then now I'd have to select which open items to clear. Um, and then there's a few screens after that to post each in, 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 in uh, each individual clearing. So it's lots of screens, long lists, um, and, and time consuming. Okay, so let's discuss all the different automatic open item clearing requirements and, and, and how we can now meet those. So the first one is, is the one that I showed you with standard SAP where SAP does it perfectly. If it's the same account, same company code, same field, exact same reference, SAP does this very well, and, there, and there's no requirement for any other software. Um, a good example uh, that we see at, at lots of customers is, is a GRR account. Most people clear that automatically, and it's because the clearing is done on the purchase order number, which is posted on the goods receipt and posted on the invoice receipt. There are no problems with that reference of the PO number because it's posted by the system. It's all within the same company, the same GRR account, the same field, the purchase order field, and, and the exact reference. So yeah, that auto clears wonderfully. Now, if you're trying to clear across company codes, for example, you're doing intercompany trade between your companies or, or posting journals for various reasons between companies, you need to clear that situation with manual clearing in SAP. And that's where BEST can come in and, and provide automatic clearing of, 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 the, of that situation. And then the next one is if you've got clearing across different customers or GL accounts, for example, um, you've got a posting in a GL account that you want to clear against a posting in a customer account, you, you, you can do that manually within SAP, click lots of screens, or BEST can automate that situation. And then again, across different fields, in the example I showed you just now, SAP had to clear within a single field. In that case, it was the assignment number. But if you want to match something from the one side uh, in the assignment field against something to the other side in the header text or any other field, um, you can set that up to be auto-cleared within BEST. And then your matching rules. So, you know, references aren't always perfect. And uh, as an the example there, if you want to match something that on the one side has triple zero slash one two three a to something one two three you can't do that with standard SAP automatic matching you need to manually clear that or you could program uh, using ABAP program a user exit um, test it specify test transport through your environment or um, best is very flexible manual uh, 
matching rules that can be set up directly by the users um, in the production client and then that can be set for automatic clearing as well. So um, let's now go into SAP and, and see exactly how does BEST do this automatic clearing. So here we are looking at the SAP main menu which the SAP users out there will recognize and if you load the BEST SAP certified add-on module you'll get additional transactions which can be allocated to your user profile using the normal SAP authorizations mechanism. So as I've got some new transactions at the top here and I'm going to go into open item clearing which has a whole menu there and let's 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 go into the automatic clearing transaction. Now I'm going to select a whole lot of customers, a range of jail accounts um, that are all spread over a number of company codes. Okay, and we're going to match all of these together. So here we are, we've, we've selected all the items, 227 items, and it's found 40 matches. Now what are those matches? It's matched on the assignment field. That was the first field I told it to match on. And wherever you see a green line is, is where it's performed a match. And the lines underneath it, in this case there are two lines underneath, are, are in that match. So these two lines uh, have equal and opposite values in this case, and they add up to zero, and they've got the same assignment number. So there the system has found a match. And, if, and it could be more than two lines, it could be five lines or whatever. Um, let's drill into one of the accounting documents. And we're in the middle of SAP, so we can drill in and have a look at things. Um, so there's a customer posting that was part of this match. And there's the, uh, the value in the assignment field. Now you'll notice there that it's got leading zeros. But it did the match without the leading zeros. So that's a fairly simple matching rule that it's applied there. Um, and you can set up all manner of matching rules, okay? Um, if I go into here, the matching rules that I've got uh, applied at the moment are remove leading spaces, remove leading zeros, remove special characters like dash, slash, etc. But I can do a whole lot of other uh, fancier things like um, remove the third and fourth characters, replace the eighth character with something else. Um, so I can do a lot of different things there. So just with my rules that I've got, if I did um, that, okay, if I had a reference like that, and I just tested, it would match one, two, three instead of zero, triple zero, one slash two, three. Um, so all of those matching rules you can set up as a user directly in the production environment. So you don't have to ask programmers to code this for you um, in the development environment and transport it through the landscape. So it's very flexible for the users to set up their own matching rules. Okay, so I'm happy with these 40 matches that I've got on the assignment field. And I want to go and have a look and see if I can find some other matches with some other criteria. So I'm going to add these to what we call the review list. In other words, just take them out of this screen that I'm looking at now. And I'm going to try a match on the header text, see if, see if we can find some uh, similar values in, in there. And here I've found another 60 matches on the header text. Okay. And if you look at that first match there, it's an interesting one. It's matched across company codes. So it's found that header text, 13510, in documents from different company codes, and it's, and it's going to match them together. That's something you couldn't do with automatic matching in the standard SAP program. So I'm happy with that again, and I'm going to put those to my review list. Okay, and I'm going to try uh, get some more matches, and, and it's a little bit like a cooking program here. You know that I'm going to find matches um, on, on the columns that I'm selecting. Um, but I'm just trying to show you the concept. And you can match on any field in SAP, any of the standard SAP fields you can match on. You can... Um, uses a matching criteria. So here I find more matches on, on the reference field um, and I'm going to save those. Add to my review list. So, so far I've been matching um, different types of accounts to each other, customer accounts to GL accounts and across company codes, but I've been matching within the same field. So I'm going to try some matches across different fields or columns. So I've, I've 
selected some options here and I'm going to select one where I'm going to match the item text, the header text and the assignment all to each other. So let's try that. Okay, and now I've got a whole bunch of extra matches. So in this first match at the top you can see that reference in the item text field was matched to another document where it matched in the assignment field. Um, so now we're matching different fields or columns to each other. Here I've matched the header text in that document to the item text in that document. Okay, so I'm happy with that and I'm going to also send that to my review list. Okay, so what's happened here is out of 227 items, we've matched 186 and I've done that in a couple of minutes. Um, now that would usually take you some hours of manual matching, selecting multiple screens within SAP, doing multiple clicking transactions. Um, and even though I did that fairly, in a fairly manual way, it was quick, all those matches that I did, all those rules that I set up, I can save as rules and run that, for example, every night in the background so that the situation is totally automated. Um, and I'd be saving a lot of people's time and really clearing up the open items that I've got in SAP. So thank you for taking the time to watch and listen to this. Um, if you'd like further details, uh, there's our website address and or you can email us directly at that email address. Thanks very much and goodbye.